This is Pioneer's GMD 8701 Car Stereo Class D Mono Power Amplifier. The GMD 8701 has a maximum power output rating of 1,600 watts and a nominal power output rating of 800 watts RMS into one channel. The amplifier includes a wired bass boost remote control and has variable low pass filter built in. The Pioneer GMD 8701 is a mono output amplifier and is designed to operate from an 8 ohm to a 1 ohm load. Let's take a look and see what's in the box. We gotta flip this over. All right. And the first thing we get here is the um, the base uh, remote control knob. This is the base boost knob. Uh, you'll see this is a very slim knob and comes with a wire about 18 feet long or or so for installation. Here is the hardware pack, and inside this hardware pack, you have the uh, base boost remote control wire here. This is a wire uh, plugs into the amplifier and into the base boost. Uh, knob and it's about 18 feet long or so so you can install that in different parts of the vehicle Next up we have the speaker level input to RCA adapter So if you're the amplifier is capable of speaker level input if you're going to use that you use this type of connection uh, To bring the signal into the amp and we have some uh, install screws There are some install screws and we have a uh, tool to uh, work on the wire connections on the inputs and outputs of the amp and here is the owner's manual and the warranty card. Now let's pull the amplifier up out of here. This is Pioneer's GMD 8701 Car Stereo Class D Mono Power Amplifier. The GMD 8701 has a maximum power output rating of 1,600 watts and a nominal power output rating of 800 watts RMS into one channel. On the left side of the Pioneer GMD 8701 is the power indicator right here. Here are the signal output and input RCAs. The RCA input can be connected directly to the RCA outputs of an in-dash receiver or by using the included speaker level to RCA adapter. The amplifier will automatically detect the type of signal. The RCA output seen here can be used to send the input signal to an additional power amplifier. Here is the gain control. If using a Pioneer in-dash receiver with two volt RCA outputs, set the gain control to the normal position. If using a Pioneer in-dash receiver with four volt RCA outputs, set the gain control to the H position. The GMD8701 has a built-in variable crossover, also called a low pass filter. This makes sure only low frequencies are played by the connected subwoofer. If you choose to use the base boost remote control included with the amplifier, the connection cable plugs in right here. On the right side of the Pioneer GMD 8701, you can attach the ground cable right here. This is the system remote control terminal. Attach the system remote control to the blue white wire on the back of your Pioneer in-dash receiver. This will switch the amplifier on and off with the in-dash receiver. In many cases, when using speaker level input, the amplifier will detect the input signal and automatically switch on and off with the in-dash receiver. In this case, the system remote control connection is not required. The positive terminal here connects directly to the positive terminal on the vehicle's battery. During installation, I strongly recommend to properly fuse the amplifier power wire within 18 inches of the vehicle battery. Here are two fuses. Each fuse is 40 amps. The speaker outputs here connect directly to the woofer or woofers in the car audio system. Normal operation is from 8 to 1 ohm impedance. When wiring multiple woofers together, the combined woofer impedance shown to the amplifier must be 1 ohm or higher. Both of the speaker outputs seen here are mono outputs. And that is Pioneer's GMD 8701 Class D mono amplifier and what's in the box.